Hi, my name is Don, owner of The Nation's Attic, and for sale we have a fantastic piece of diving history. Now recently we were contacted by a retired Navy officer who had been a diver throughout his entire 20-year career. And during that time he was trained, and of course, in the United States Navy Mark V. But he was also trained in more advanced uh, techniques as well in other helmets. And one of those helmets that he was trained in was the famed helium or mixed gas Mark V. Some people call it the Widowmaker, which we'll explain here a little bit later. But he contacted us and we had the honor of uh, owning this helmet for a short period of time until we find a new home for it. Now the, the veteran was kind enough to write a detailed letter about his time in the Navy and also how he acquired this helmet. A little bit of insight into the helmet's history. Uh, so a nice piece of provenance uh, that we will send along with the helmet, along with one of our certificate of authenticities as well. But the helmet itself, I'm going to back away, let you take a close-up look at it here. This helmet, at first glance, may look like a standard Mark V, but it is not. It is almost double what a standard Mark V would be in terms of size and weight. Well, more or less in terms of weight. Let me spin it around here so you can take a look. We've got this impressive helmet, visually, uh, historically, uh, very impressive. But the first thing a lot of people see on these is this huge canister on the back of the helmet. Now this canister originally was filled with a chemical that would absorb uh, the carbon dioxide uh, that the diver exhaled. And it was filled with a shell natron, I believe was the name of the chemical. So it would have been put in this canister and allowed the diver, uh, especially with other mixed gas pumped into this helmet along with air, to go to extreme depths. Um, the reason that some people called this helmet the Widowmaker was, is that this chemical that was put in this canister, if there happened to be any water that got into the helmet, if it leaked through one of these fittings and made contact with this chemical, it would turn into chlorine gas and would seriously injure or kill the diver. Uh, so a lot of guys were just intimidated or afraid of this helmet and didn't want to use it. But still, fantastic piece of equipment used uh, for submarine rescues and other extreme deep dives. So historically, fantastic uh, piece of history right here. Visually, uh, it can't get any, any more impressive than this. Now the Mark V's, of course, are an impressive helmet. They're the blue chip of diving helmets, but this one being so rare, lots of people don't even know these exist. Uh, but when they see them, just immediately impress. Someone who doesn't even care about diving helmets or antiques is, will be impressed by this monster of a helmet. We've got the exhaust uh, coming out the top up here rather than the standard banana exhaust that you see on the Mark V's. Of course we've got extra fittings here for the gas. We've got a non-return valve here as well. So complete uh, great looking helmet. Now this particular helmet was made by Desco or Diving Equipment and Supply Company and it was made in March of 1970. Now, we found that the few uh, of these uh, that we've turned up over the years, a lot of them date to the 1970s. Uh, apparently, it was a time when World War II equipment was just getting to a point it was too old to use. And so we found other helmets from this time period, helium examples, I mean, uh, that were made during, this, during the 70s. So very typical for one of these uh, to date to this period. Serial numbers are very important on these helmets. This one is serial number 51, and actually in the letter uh, that the veteran uh, had, he called this helmet the 51. Uh, so we have 51 on the identification plate. Right here at the neck ring, top and bottom, number 51. All four brails had number 51 on them. The all-important brass canister on the back, number 51 on it. We've got a fitting right here which has number 51 on it. On the inside of the helmet on the neck rings, we have 51. No doubt, this whole helmet is complete and original serial numbers matching, which is just fantastic. So no damage per se to this helmet. We have got 99% of the original tinning on the, or on the copper body of this helmet intact. 
Um, so it was extremely well taken care of, as you would expect uh, for an expensive piece of equipment that the United States Navy was using. So no dents per se, nothing like that at all. We just had a nice patina uh, with it. You've got your uh, some of your scrapes and marks here on the brass brails to be expected. But uh, all the glass is intact. All the pieces and parts move. This canister comes off as it should. We were actually also had these filters uh, that the, uh, the veterans sent with us. These filters were put on the canister when it was hooked up. So even these little things like that, we've got the T-wrench uh, that comes with it as well. Uh, so we've got a great complete display. Up inside of here in the communications cup, we do have a World War II transceiver still in there. United States Navy uh, inspection stamps are on that. Speaking of inspection stamps, the non-return valve here on the back, which is a DESCO as it should be, United States Navy inspection stamps on it as well. You just virtually cannot get much better than this example. Wonderful provenance, extreme condition just a beautiful piece all serial numbers matching and just for what it is in the history of this i love these helmets i always wish we could keep one but alas we cannot uh, we have to keep a business going so i love it i love it when we have the chance to handle one of these but these are impressive helmets and great investment pieces as well as always we have high resolution photos of this helmet that we can email you to you at any time if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call or a text or an email. Our phone number is country code 1, area code 316-371-1828. Our email address is helmets at nationsaddict.com. Nations Addict is a sponsoring member of the Historical Diving Society in the United States and the United Kingdom, and we have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau as well. Once again, my name is Don Oder in the Nations Attic, and I certainly look forward to talking to you. Bye.